Great. Thanks, everyone, for taking the time. Kinkora Copper, we're focused on porphyries. Um, we're the most active explorer in the southern Gobi. Um, we're certainly also on the hunt for other projects that fit our model um, and fit our technical team's criteria. We recently announced that we're drilling at a new project in the southern Gobi called Badrak, and this is the rig uh, a photo taken last week. The usual disclaimers. So the investment opportunity. Uh, as mentioned, the most active Lister Junior looking to make the major big discovery in Mongolia. Why Mongolia? We're focused there because of its perspective. When you're looking for elephants, you're better off looking in elephant country. We're currently drilling and well funded to do an extensive program into next year. We've got a pipeline that we're systematically working, undertaking the first modern systematic exploration and all the leading mineral belts in the country. We've got a very active project generation strategy uh, seeking to get new projects that fit our model. We just today announced a new application was granted in the Lachlan Fold Belt in New South Wales, Australia's leading porphyry belt. Uh, as mentioned, Budrak, we recently secured a deal there. We've got a team that's got a track record of major discoveries, uh, found multiple tier one discoveries, no Mongolia, and have form in the Lachlan Fold Belt um, and skin in the game. We've got a strong institutional and consolidated shareholder register, which I'll touch on, and raised $6.25 million at the end of June to provide a healthy budget to undertake uh, this exploration and project generation strategy. Uh, a brief corporate summary here, uh, 135 million shares outstanding, market cap uh, today of about 5.5 million um, with a couple of well-known institutions there but a very institutional shareholder base, um, good family office representation and board and management. A discovery team, obviously team's critical for the stage that we're at. Um, and, uh, and John Holliday, chairman of our technical committee, credited with the discovery of Cadia um, for Newcrest in the Lachlan Fold Belt. Um, Peter Lehman, a uh, photo of him there, uh, the, one of the chief discoverers of Rico Dick in Pakistan. Um, Barry DeWitt, our chief geophysicist, who's working very closely with Peter and the team, um, ex uh, chief geophysicist for BHP, and undertook the last district scale exploration in the mid 2000s in Mongolia with Peter. So we've got a team that knows Mongolia, has international experience, and are attracted to these belts to try and find the next major discovery. A board that knows Mongolia, has relevant international experience and a full development track record um, across exploration into production. I won't go into the details here, um, but uh, I'll, this presentation will be up on our website. Location, obviously a critical thing, the stage that we're at. Um, we're in Mongolia's leading porphyry belt. We've got the dominant position there. We're undertaking the first modern systematic exploration. Our capital market strategy is aligned with the stage of these targets. We're looking to make discoveries. Uh, Bronze Fox is a large mineralised system, about 400 million tonnes in a block model of circa 0.3% copper. We've undertaken first phase drilling already. We've got funds in place to convert that to a mining licence. Uh, look to get a maiden resource and complete phase two drilling next year. E7 Savaga, um, another project that we've just undertaken, phase one drilling, sits within 15 kilometres of a billion dollar construction project at an open pit. We've tested that target, we've drilled it, we've killed it, and that's the nature that we're at. We've got to systematically move on. Um, so E7 Savaga is another project that we've tested, and as mentioned, Badrak, um, which I'll go into in a little bit more detail in a second. Uh, only today we've announced that we've picked up a strategic land holding um, in the Lachlan Fold Belt, uh, a project that we call Ningen, um, based on the town that it sits near. Um, why the Lachlan Fold Belt? Why central New South Wales? This is Australia's leading porphyry belt. John Holliday, chairman of our technical committee, um, was credited with the discovery of Cadia. He still lives in Orange. Um, he knew that this area that we've picked up was drilled by Newcrest and had good results that were not followed up because of a change of strategy at that time. We're not dil diluting the scale of the target that we're looking for. Um, we're in elephant country still, looking for a new major discovery in a part of the belt that hasn't been explored and drilled in detail. 
Um, the style of expiration, very similar, where it's undercover expiration predominantly, where the same expiration techniques that we use in the Gobi can be applicably used here at this project. Um, I guess from a timing perspective, we've been relatively fortunate that Alcane, um, north of Cadia, there made a good discovery. Some have described it as the best discovery in this belt um, in the last 20 years. They made that discovery only recently, and the handful of juniors active here have all seen their share prices increase 2 to 3x. Um, but I guess the, the commercial logic really was driven by the technical appeal of that licence portfolio. So what are the work programs? Um, we've done phase one drilling at Bronze Fox. We've done phase one drilling at East Seven Savaga. We're pursuing project generation and we've got a detailed budget to go through into next year. Um, drilling Bronze uh, Badrack, um, drilling this new project in the Lachlan Fold Belt in Ingen, um, and coming back um, and working up some further targets. So Badrak, um, what was the appeal here? This was a project held by a Mongolian vendor, well known to us. We've looked at it many times over. He drilled it this year. He got some OK results but failed to get to the target zone. When we took the existing geophysics um, and overlaid that with the geology, we can see what we feel is a very compelling uh, primary target that's never had a drill hole put into it, uh, starting from about 300 metres depth. Um, across a very large alteration system that's about one kilometre east-west. So this is in that sweet spot of us being able to very quickly uh, develop a concept, looking to put a relatively modest amount into the ground, no payments to the vendor, to effectively confirm our concept of could this be a very large porphyry system, which certainly the geology and the geophysics provides encouragement for. So why Kinkora? Uh, Kinkora is a team with an exceptional tier one track record looking to do that again. Um, they've been attracted to Mongolia because that's an uh, underexplored district um, that has favourable geology um, where we're the most active group taking the drill bit and putting it into the ground and looking to pick up new discoveries, uh, new projects by project generation. So we're an active systematic explorer we're undertaking an aggressive uh, project generation strategy. We've got a very strongly, strong and aligned shareholder register with management and board that's got skin in the game. And we're currently drilling. Um, importantly, we're well funded to, to continue this process into next year um, and drill testing new targets. It's risk capital still. The prizes are large. Um, and we've got to keep systematically doing this, these work programs. We've got a market capitalisation um, of today of about circa 5.5 versus the last raising only in June of 6.2 and will be very well funded come the end of the year. So thank you for, uh, for being introduced to the, to the story. I'm happy to, uh, to take any questions. We've got the booth, obviously. So um, thank you very much. <laughs>